What's up, good people? I actually say that on Snapchat, but hey, how you doing? Okay, no, seriously. Hey everybody, CK here. Now, why do I always do like that? I don't know, but I am coming to you guys with a throwback Thursday. I need to think of a song specifically or strictly for a throwback Thursday to make it more fun. You know what I mean? But I was going to do a voiceover in this video, but then I was like, I have so many things that I just want to chat about. Like I have one of the new Fit Me's, you know, they came out with a new shade range. So I'll grab one of those, even though I do have the old one, which is why this is a throwback Thursday. Okay. And I have a review on it and everything like over a year ago, but this product is not over a year old because I use the other one and then I bought another one and then they came out with another shade and I'm like I think this fits me better which prompted the throwback Thursday so see this is why I didn't want to do a voiceover because I need to chat with y'all some things I just need to chat about and voiceovers take me too quick so listen if you follow me on snapchat I told y'all that select Walgreens now have soap and glory products and I'm talking about matter of fact let me you know what Actually, let me save it in my Snapchat now so that I can share this with y'all because y'all need to see this display. But anyway, it is called One Heck of a Blot Instant Perfecting Power Primer. Now, let me tell y'all, it claims to do a whole, whole lot. So if you guys want to review on this product, I'm going to have to do that separate because listen, it says it controls shine for 12 hours and your makeup lasts longer. It hides imperfection, evens out skin tone, reduces the appearance of redness, leaves you good to glow instantly diminishes the appearance of pores okay i think this deserves a review by itself thumbs up or comment or do both and let me know if you want to see it now let's get into the throwback stuff how many of you guys remember this highlighter from physicians formula yep we're going into that baby today and i've had this product for a long time too six dollar blush palette from elf and then on the eyes i am going to use the la palette which is the number two they have a one and they have a number two but if you do find it in your drugstore it will be repackaged differently it is like holiday packaging or something like that okay i do have a video where i use this product before but since this is throwback and it's drugstore edition, I was like, let's just pop this baby on out. We are gonna use this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Iced Amoka. And I'm just gonna use this as like a base. Um, where are you? Where are you? Come on. There we go. We are gonna do a neutral look, of course, cause that's what this palette is, but I wanna do a pop of color in my waterline. So, and I think I'm kind of inspired by that backdrop. So we're going to see how life treats us. What if we do something like a smoky eye? I think I'm going to go into this color because it's like a really chocolate brown. So let's just put that all over the lid. I may, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I, I have no idea. Switch brushes, baby. You don't have to use a shimmer base if you're going to do like a smoky eye, but I just decided to do a smoky eye at the last minute, seriously. The other brown in this palette right here is kind of ashy. So I am going to go into my Cocoa Bear, but Cocoa Bear is affordable. Okay. Oh, up against that brown, it totally makes it look like a burnt orange. And that's cool because it's fall time. Yes. I think I'm going to take this color right here. It has a little shimmer to it. There's another shimmery color in here, like right there. But I think that may come off too deep, but we can always deepen it up if we want to. So I'm just going to put this in the inner corner. I think I like that, but I may have to lighten it. I don't know yet. Let's drag it all the way. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like it. This has become one of my favorite inner corner brushes. And this is a Milani brush. And it is a crease brush. That's what it's called. And it's really, really small and round. And um, yeah, I like it a lot. I've been using it a lot. Matter of fact, I think I need to add that to my favorites. Oh, and you guys know when you see me in my happy place, well... It's not the bonnet, but it's like happy place. Number two, you know what's going down when you see this, right? You know what's going down when you see this, right? Yeah, a unit, baby. Coming at you. So in here, they only have like a light shimmery color right there. And I don't want shimmer on my brow bone. I just like it to be matte most of the time. Like very seldom do I do shimmer actually. So let's go in with that peach smoothie. It just is gonna set this off. Do you see what I'm saying? Wait till you blend that out though. Wait till you blend that out though. Mm, girl, girl. 
I don't know how this is gonna look, but I definitely wanna do a pink liner in my waterline. I don't know y'all, I just, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. This is Wet n Wild Fergie on edge long wearing eye pencil and this is in the color i think it's in the color stacy oh ecstasy that's different that's different i don't know how that's coming on camera it looks like something's wrong with my eye but in person it looks cool so i'm gonna take this brown you know what after i get my lashes on i'm gonna see if i want to put a little liner on the top i don't know yet so I'm about to put these lashes on and I'm definitely not going to attempt to do that on camera because my angles are way off. Like I have to be totally prepared for that. But after I do that, I'll be right back. And now I'm going to take my wipes and wipe under my eyes so I don't look like da na 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 da na 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 Y'all get it? Anyway, I don't want to look all, you know, scary. You know what? I really like that. It is very, very different, but I really, really like it. So now we are going to go into this primer. One heck of a blot by Soap and Glory. I am anxious to see what this baby looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like on the hand, but is it clear though? But do you dry clear though? Oh, oh. I'm not gonna put it everywhere. Oh, it feels good though. So now you guys know that I did a video on the new LA Girl Peach Corrector. That's not what I'm using today. I am gonna use the LA Girl Orange Corrector and the LA Girl Yellow Corrector and I'm gonna mix the two and see if I come up with my own peach. A lot of you guys in the comment section said that's the colors that you use or those are the colors that you use. Now I've used my concealer or my foundation and mixed it with the orange to get like a peach color. But let's see, yellow and orange. Look at my peach, I'm happy. Only thing about doing it this way is with my Peach Luster by MAC, I can just like, you know, use the brush and apply it on there. With this, I guess I'll just use my fingers and put it on there. Ooh, 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 let me see. Uh -uh. I made it too light. It looks like it's a great peach on my hand, but when I put it on my skin, no. Let me see. You see how dark that is though? Maybe I'll just do it like this cause I don't feel like mixing again. Not that I can't just stick with this color, but I, I just don't like how dark it is on me. Just a little bit. To be honest, I think I like mixing it with my foundation or my concealer. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me 355 and this is 340. The thing I like about the 340 is I feel like it has a little more yellow in it. This one has a little more orange. And when I first reviewed the product, this was the deepest shade that they had and I totally made it work. But then when I realized they came out with a whole new, I think it was like six or eight shades that they added, they added more on the deeper skin and they added more for porcelain or fair skin. So I was like, you know what, 340? seems more like my color so that's what we're about to do today oh and on the camera it may even look weird but I tested it and I put a little strip on my neck and it seemed to have worked fine so that's what we're gonna do today all by itself I trust that if it doesn't work out or if it's not an exact match I'll be able to make it work but I think it'll be okay and y'all know I love foundation like I love foundation we got this, we got this. And you guys, I will have a video coming on the LA Girl Foundation. I have been testing it out, but I wanna fully review it before I bring it back to y'all, all right? I think I like this one way better than the 350. So if you guys have more yellow, use it. Check it out, take a look-see, take a gander. All right, now we're going in with my Maybelline Better Skin. Y'all know I love this stuff. Now, one thing I've been doing when I do my concealer is I've been going under my lines because I notice I've been having a whole lot of creasing. So I'm trying this technique so that I don't have too much creasing. And this is deep. This is the deepest color that they have. And I sure hope that they come out with more because... I think that everybody needs to try this. Everybody needs this concealer in their life because it's a really good drugstore concealer. I take it and then I kind of push it up with the beauty blender, you get what I mean? As to not have too much product under there so it doesn't crease so fast. Now I'm about to use this baby. I've only used this like twice, so we're going into it today. But use it with the light hand and I love the way it smells, you guys. It's a mixture between baby powder and like perfume. I don't need to take a lot. 
it's more of a neutral color, I should say. That's why I don't use it a whole lot. And if I do, I use it with a light hand. But since this is a drugstore look, I figured why not use this baby? And let's do a little nose contour. And y'all know this is drugstore, but this is like my holy grail contour for my nose. I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics powder in 240, but this counts because it's very, very affordable. It's definitely under 10 bucks. With that powder, that airspun, I'm going over that a little bit with my powder because on camera, I see that powder coming on through. It's like, hello, somebody. This is actually a drugstore foundation that I would totally rock to an event though. Y'all know about this Holy Grail drugstore product. My CoverGirl Q120 bronzer. CoverGirl Queen, that is. There we go. There we go. I tend to lean towards this one or this one all the time, but I just want a flush of blush. So I'm gonna use this one today. And they don't have names on it. This is just the dark blush palette. I'm using this one because I don't want a lot of color today because my liner, and I'm gonna wear a pink lippy. So now we are gonna go into this Physicians Formula Highlight. It does run about 15 bucks, so it can be kind of high for drugstore, which I feel like the prices are going up anyway. I like that you can use all of these as eyeshadows or you can use them as highlighters. And I like that they have a deep tone if you wanna do like a golden highlight. Then if you wanna do like a pinky type highlight, you can. A light golden, you can. You get what I'm saying? So it's like a um, multitasking product. Mm -hmm. See, I mean, the payoff is bananas. Watch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They ain't playing games. <laughs> we ain't playing games, this is Sicky Beauty. I don't know if I wanna rock Obsession or if I wanna rock Gorgeous. Let's go with Gorgeous. This is Milani. This is one of the Amore Matte. I love the way this came out. Okay, let me get my life together with the hair. Be right back. And that is it for this edition of Throwback Thursday. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And if you guys want information on the unit, I will have it in the description box because I have rocked this baby before, all right? So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of your love and support, every comment, every like, every share. By the way, don't forget to thumbs up, okay? And you guys have an awesome, blessed day, and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Sicky beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Sicky beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the Sicky beauty. Yeah, Sicky beauty.